I, I, I what am I supposed to think about a set? <laughs> You're supposed to think, hell yeah! To all this attention, it can create a lot more chaos and panic that Genji have to deal with. And I mean, it's going to be, oh, tough here for Whippo. Canyon looking for the enemy top laner. Whippo using the showstopper to get back away. Remember, hey, once and a Genji team that's already almost 1,000 gold ahead just off of laning secures the first three grubs. Yeah, I think Inspired was really hoping to just steal one grub and then get out of there, but he wasn't given the time uh -oh. to do it. And here they come again. Whippo has no ulti. This time, he does have flash. He does have the haymaker. Boom! There's a big punch. Whippo stays fine. And looks like he was able to actually interrupt oh, Canyon. All of these have to be picture perfect, or Gen G is going to disengage, and then they're going to kite you out, and they're going to burst you down in the long run. All right, here we go again. Lahans and Pays versus Whippo, using the Haymaker early to try to nullify a lot of the upfront damage. Whippo exhausted now, flashing to try to get away. Canyon coming around from the side. Expect the Impale here from the Skarner. Oh! Whippo with beautiful footwork to get away from the 3v1. I genuinely think that something worth noting is, as Ale has mentioned so many times this series, FlyQuest are willing to show restraint. Tournament. They exactly. I mean, it's absolutely incredible, you know, for the journey of these players, and not just the North American players, the European players, and Quad, who retired after you know, a disappointing performance in the LCK, where he couldn't even come close to touching the likes of Chovy, now here in North America, has been really showing up. Okay, FlyQuest are starting up the Drake, but they're doing it on top of a ward. Busio's going to clear out the control ward from Gen G in the banana brush on approach, but it looks like Gen G is not interested in contesting this Drake. FlyQuest going to take that one. Zero stacks on the hard steel so far from Canyon. He is, of course, only recently bought it, but Genji are conceding these objectives. The gold is swinging into FlyQuest. In an earlier game of being about 13 minutes in when we were called for the longest first blood at world. Well, they want quad. It's going to be TPs coming in from both sides. Fate sealed, arrives, but he buffers back through the Impale with a soul unbound. Mom roars in. Quad is low, but he ain't dead yet. Keen's in trouble, but he turns it back around. First blood over to Jovi, and Gen G get their moment. A, an intense play that's not over yet. Rahan's trying to jump in now and get a little bit more Busio. Oh, he's so very close to death. It was nearly a 2 nothing for Gen G. A nice dive and the Rift Herald for FlyQuest. I think that, uh, oh, Whippo needs to be careful. Doesn't have the ulti available. Does get a nice stun there on the Canyon. Haymaker's the rest of the wave just to get rid of it and make sure that Gen G have to back up. So as this objective is going down, we'll do a very quick stack check. 212, yeah, 18 and mercy. a half minutes into oh, the game. Oh, back in the mid lane, no! Masu caught out of position, pays, and Lehens getting the kill in the fly quest carry. That was the missing flash. Lehens forced his, uh, excuse me, his cleanse. He forced his cleanse down on that bot side around that skirmish. This time, uses the flash, flashes forward, catches him out with no cleanse. There was no shot for Masu to get out of there. And that's two quick towers so secured for the Ziggs. These champions can stall for days. So finding good fights, securing objectives are going to be crucial to find an advantage in this game. And I feel like this smolder is just working out so well for Chovy so far. The game being so low octane, just giving him all that room to farm. You're talking about a player who is known so well for farming that if you have Chovy farm, it means you're farming way more than you ever should. He's already at that final stack mark before 20 minutes into the game. He's already on Trinity Force plus Muramana. This guy is set up to be the carry, but inspired with the ult at the end of the wall, immediately into the showstopper coming out from Whippo. Busio jumps in, and Chovy is down. Quad goes with the paint. See him looking for Canyon now as well, but he's going to have to snap back here in just a moment. Gen G's mid laner finally caught. Farm as much as you like. FlyQuest will take the kill on him anyway. Looking to set up for this tower on bot for the next dragon as well. The rewards do grow, but Chovy's up in 20. We'll see if he wants to do anything on the map with this TP, because for now, it's Gen G heading out towards top lane, looking to take some more gold as the response. The biggest downside is that the kill went on to Busio. 500 gold into the Alistair, not optimal, but you'll still take the kill. Bot lane tower secured. We have FlyQuest going for a Baron sneak. Gen G are none the wiser. Though they have they to be suspicious, right? Pays. No, but look, they shot off the Scryer's Bloom. Okay, finally, Pay's gonna throw the, the Mega Inferno Bomb in there. Can they finish, can they finish? They got the Baron down to about 5,000. FlyQuest going from an insane Hail Mary right now. King going into the Pandas now. The Teleport's gonna come out from Chovy. Whippo is already dead. King
Keen's looking to take Inspired out of the picture now, too. But Keen's gonna die. Inspired also drops. Two for one. Favorite and Gen G. Fly Quest went for the crazy play. And Gen G are ready to punish. A double kill for Jovi. Church is in session. Monster to flash over the wall and be in that spot. So I think it was Quad that hit it, trying to blast himself into a better spot to make a play. And instead, Masu goes back into the river, and now Gen G with a 4,000 gold lead. It's 23 minutes into the game, and they're bulldozing their way to the Fly Quest Nexus. The bottom lane inhibitor turret falls. Bottom lane inhibitor next on the menu. Whippo trading back a tier two turret up in the top side. Yeah, I mean, the wave clear for Fly Bad Quest fight could be the end of worlds for FlyQuest. The game was so quiet, so calm for so long, but that's the problem with those Hail Mary plays. If you drop the ball, all of a sudden you are staring down the barrel of terror. Over the wall though, go Inspired and Quad. They find the pick on Dakeen with two ultimates. I mean, it's a good pick for FlyQuest. These are yeah, the sorry, you're right. My apologies. <laughs> uh, Chobi, though, Same family, you're good. Has the QSS now, gets that much harder. He's approaching. Uh, that rapid fire cannon as well, as Canyon will live this, but that is the Sterics being procced, and now FlyQuest getting corralled a little bit here. Yep, Busio flashing over the wall, trying to make the play on Canyon, but he wasn't fast enough to get the headbutt the other way. Lahan's coming in, trying to help him, but Chovy's ready. Mom's already been summoned. Canyon's low, but he ain't gonna be killed off here just yet. And already Quad bites the dust. FlyQuest again overextending, looking for their way into the back line, but a double kill of it to Chovy. Puepo's gonna die next. Gen G are slaughtering them. A triple for the mid laner. Chovy will not be. But the play just didn't come to fruition, and Gen G back in the driver's seat. They just didn't have the damage to make it happen. There's no ult in inspired, and Masu wasn't even there. So they can't finish off these kills. And now Masu gonna get caught out. He's gonna go down as well. Surely there is no way out here for a Callista. They'll give the kill over to Keen this time. And Genji, over the course of five minutes, have taken a dead even game and shoved it straight through the heart of FlyQuest. A crushing situation for FlyQuest to find themselves in. Chovy's gonna TP in, Busio. Chovy just not afraid of this Alistar whatsoever. No respect needed, no respect given. Gen G looking to put pressure on the tier three turret in the top side and mid lane at the same time. They did get flash off Chovy though. So he TPs in, he loses his flash. So that could be a small way in for FlyQuest. Let's see if they can find it. FlyQuest are gonna have to find something big because Gen G just keep the pressure on. Mid lane tier three is already out and now the inhibitor could be next. But Gen G respecting what might happen with the fiddlesticks, backing themselves away. They throw the equalizer in a spot Five. where. And when people want to talk about Chovy as one of the best, if not the best players in the world, you have to step up in these big moments. He has been able to do just that for Gen G in this fifth game. Got a big lane advantage, has been pulling that through into the team fights. Busio, though, looking for a potential long flank here. FlyQuest needs to get creative, and they need to be able to find a way in. Gen G. They broke open the game with the Baron, with the punish on FlyQuest's sneak. And now with the Baron alive again, they are in total control. Oh, no. Inspired and Masu in a very compromised position. Busio coming around to try to help them. Inspired has Ghost on his summoner spellbook to try to join up. Busio now looking to reinforce the lines as well. But it looks like it's going to be so hard for Whippo to make his way into the fight as they have to try to save Busio now. Masu barely hanging on. Inspired back over the wall here with a Crow Storm, but it ain't going to be enough just yet. Masu can't even find any damage. Pay stays alive. Redemption for the heal. Chovy's dominating, and Masu burns. Keen gets the kill, and Whippo will just try to get away from the hands and pays. A double kill for Keen. FlyQuest is aced. All five members of FlyQuest drop, and Gen G will crush the hopes of North America. Gen G was pushed to the limit. They were pushed to the edge, but they were built for these situations. They were built for victory. They were built to win, and they will do just that. Whether it's three games, whether it's five, it does not matter. Gen G has a date with destiny and the semifinals. These were the best highlights from today's Worlds 2024 matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.